2 or 3 o'clock, probably increasing the chance a little bit later. Uh, because there's still some heat, heat to be had here. If you look around, we're at 79 in Detroit. Same idea out here in Des Moines, but there's a pretty good little chunk of heat out here in the Southern Plains. It will just keep us kind of where we have been in the upper 80s. Might not get to 90, but in the upper 80s, a lot of extra humidity, though, makes it feel like 90 or a little bit higher the next several days. So 70 in Port Huron, 74 in Ann Arbor, 79 in Detroit right now. I did find a little shower. Okay, so here's the deal. New Baltimore has got a little tiny shower. This is not shower action over the northern part of the lake. That's bugs <laughs> showing up on the radar. There's a little shower there. Uh, south of Algonac, then one over in Canada, another one out over the lake. So a little tiny one's just left over. But uh, the point is we have cleared out in most cases around the area as this thing finally moves off to the east. And as it pulls away, lots of extra humidity hanging in the air, cooling off overnight just a touch to get down near that dew point. So fog is a possibility. Did you see the big storm go down towards Cincinnati? That's through tonight and tomorrow. Here's another one coming by Chicago. The point is tomorrow we could have a shower or thunder shower in the afternoon or evening hours. But then Thursday in the afternoon evening, we've got an extra little energy here from this front to kind of agitate things, get it going. And so there's a higher chance of problems with that batch of showers and thunderstorms. And then there's some leftovers on Friday as well. So here's a look at the potential for issues tomorrow afternoon and uh, tomorrow, I should say tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. It's a very little opportunity in some of our southwest counties here. It's called a marginal risk. On a scale of one to five, that's a one. But that's tomorrow afternoon evening. If you look at what happens on Thursday evening to Thursday night, it's a much broader area. It does include most of us across the region here for that marginal risk, meaning maybe something isolated could be a problem. If we did have a concern here, it'd likely be thunderstorm winds. Now, whenever it rains, you can get a pretty good heavy downpour because of all the humidity, right? So here's tomorrow. In the afternoon and evening, this is 10 o'clock tomorrow, a little bit hit and miss action. But watch as we get going here Thursday. See it really start to fill up. Some spots say a, a one and a quarter, some spots say two and a half, some spots say three quarters of an inch. The point is a lot of extra moisture, more likely to get showers and thunderstorms Thursday evening and Thursday night than tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. Overnight tonight, it's 70, mostly clear, maybe a little fog in spots, 60s outside the city. 88 tomorrow in Detroit, might get to 90 in a few spots southwest. That's just the temperature. It'll feel hotter. This year we have had six days at 90. I don't think we make it the next few days, but it will feel that hot. It has felt that hot. All right.